Hi, I'm Sophie Madej and I've been coming here for four and a half years now and I specialize in drawing, illustration, and painting. Yeah, so while I've been coming here, I've done dynamic anatomy, constructive anatomy, I've also worked with drawing and illustration, and I've also done oil and acrylic painting in expressionist six styles. I really like coming here just because I like the environment that they've set up and created because it's very individualistic and you get to work on your own projects without having someone hovering over you and telling you what to do constantly because I don't really like constant criticism so I like to work on my own stuff and yeah it just it creates a good environment for learning and it's very nurturing when you get to work around the people who are doing the same thing as you so I would definitely recommend it for anyone who's curious about art or just beginning or is even super experienced because they cater to all skill levels and it's it's a really open environment where you can ask questions and you can be able to you know maybe even just work alone if you don't feel like talking to anyone uh hi i'm Jaden. i'm 16 i am a junior in high school and i've been coming to desert art academy for four years now i do both illustration and animation I like coming here because it's both fun and educational. The teachers are really helpful and it, it makes people improve like way faster. And it's a very welcoming place to come. Desert Art Academy has helped me uh, a lot finding my style, uh, improving my art overall. And because of it, I've actually started doing commissions and I've made a small bit of money, but it's just because I started just recently. I really recommend taking classes if you want to improve at your art or try art as a hobby or even just go for fun if you're slightly interested. It's uh, really helped me come a long way and I think it'll help you come a long way too. Um, so I'm Laura Thomas and I started coming here October of 2019 so it's been about a year and a half. And um, I had never done oils before, so I started doing oils when I came here. So that's what I primarily do, and I really enjoy it. Um, I think probably the best thing that I've learned for myself, because I'm a perfectionist, is that um, when Leo says, it's just a painting. And so if you make a mistake, you can fix it, you can change it, you can start over if you need to. But, um, but that freedom has been wonderful and um, his confidence too. I really enjoy coming um, for a lot of different reasons. One of them is that I have three kids and so being able to be in a space that's relaxing and I can focus and I don't have to worry about anything else while I'm painting is really great. And on top of that, uh, Leo is a great coach and he just kind of meets me where I'm at and he gives me as much freedom as I need to um, to work on my painting, but then he's always there to step in and help. He's got so much information and expertise in the art world from everything from graphic design to um, oil painting and fine art. And so he's just very, uh, very knowledgeable. So I trust all of his input and he, um, he makes it a lot more fun as well as the other students are great. And I learn a lot from them because everybody's working on something different everybody's at a different place. So I learn a lot from what they're painting and the different advice that he gives them. Um, it's just it's just a really laid back, fun environment. I would definitely recommend this class to anyone, um, anywhere you are, if you have a lot of experience or if you um, are just starting out. Um, he really, Leo really meets you where you're at and he, talks to you and he figures out where what you want to do and where you want to go and so I've seen people come in here and and have no experience and he really helps them and then he also has so much experience himself that someone who has a lot of experience he can help them too so yeah there's I've seen so much improvement I've had so much improvement myself that it's like I said it's just really it's a fun environment so it, it keeps you positive which is always good for learning and um and I've learned a lot. <laughs> uh, my name is John Pym. I've been coming here for somewhere between five and seven years. And I, uh, I like oil paints. 
and that's what mostly I do. And when I first came here, I hadn't really done anything. I did something when I was a kid and that didn't turn out too badly, but then I got attracted to music and that's the way I went. But now that I'm retired, I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to find out more about that. And uh, that's why I came here on the advice of a friend. I guess the biggest thing I've learned about painting is first you have to learn to see to paint and then you have to learn to look to be able to see and since I've been coming here the whole world is a little bit brighter and uh, colors are better and I'm seeing more and if even if I was the worst painter in the world coming out this door that alone is worth the price of admission to me Leo customizes your program to you you don't write it to answer a test. There's no questions and answers. There's no book unless you want to go get a book. Uh, he he see, he has the ability to see in each student where they're going and what they probably enjoy doing. And you don't feel like you're ever ignored because of this. There might be six in the class one day or three. Because everything he says to everybody, to each person, is for everybody. And you learn, even if it's not your question, you learn from that. And I've learned a great deal, a lot of it from kind of like from osmosis. So it's real low pressure. You know, coming here is one of my favorite times of the week, if not my favorite time of the week. It's an oasis for creativity. And Leo and Hunter create an atmosphere which is so conducive to creativity. It's like, you'd almost want to call it Leo's garden because everything blooms in here under his and uh, Hunter's direction. You know, and it changes you too because there's, that, there's, there's a silence. There's a silence that is very delicious and hard, impossible to find, I think, otherwise, at the center of this of create creativity, especially when everybody's doing it at once. It's 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 tangible, and it's what the Buddhists call the the, the, the calm at the center. And, and what it is is everybody's personality disappearing into their project at once. And it's hard to describe, but it's worth the price of admission, no matter what. And it changes you too, because that once a week or twice a week, whatever it is you come, uh, get, teaches you that relaxation and you bring it into your life. For example, uh, look at me now. I'm, I'm so calm, I'm glib. But when I first came here, I'll tell you what, this is what I look like right now. And the people, the people you meet here, I think will give you something because there is no other kind of community where you will get the same repartee, I guess is the word, than people, like-minded art, artists. Really, you'll find that if you haven't already. Uh, I would uh, recommend this to absolutely anybody of any age, of any skill level. Um, if you didn't like it the first time, don't come back, but I guarantee you, you'll come back. I started Desert Art Academy because when I retired from teaching college and actually ran a college for the last 10 years of my life, I moved when I retired and moved out here I noticed that there was something missing that students out here, particularly high school and college students, hadn't even heard, didn't even know about some of the possibilities that exist in the various art and design fields and the opportunities that are awaiting them. And I realized that the colleges I taught at in Los Angeles that those students, you know, are the ones who advance to the high paying jobs. They get into the good careers because they were able to attend the good design colleges and universities. 
And there's people out here who didn't even know about it. They don't even know the difference between art and design. And uh, so I realized that there was a real need. The students out here, the kids and the teenagers, the high schoolers, even college students, they're very talented. They're extremely intelligent. They're very talented, but they're not being exposed to any of the opportunities that are out there. You know, it's like news to them. Wow, you mean there are all these careers and opportunities and art and design, and, and no one actually has informed them about what the possibilities for their future are. So one of the reasons was to provide opportunities for highly talented students who don't have the financial resources. And out here, not, there's not even the availability, even if you had the resources to go somewhere. I mean, I've got students driving in from San Diego to take classes here. And here we work with every student individually. If you come to one of our classes, it's not paint along with a teacher type. It's not dip and sip. Every student here is working on their own project and we, we spend a lot of time talking with and uh, discussing with each student what their personal goals are, what their feelings are, and how they would best be happy and fulfilled at, to pursue those goals. And so you'll come to a class, you'll see one person doing abstracts, another person doing figure study or portraits or landscapes. It doesn't matter. Some people paint in oil, some in acrylic, some in watercolor. Uh, it's all happening in the same class because we're working with each individual. Because the individual person is what's important. It's not say, oh, okay, I learned this little technique and you go like this and make a tree. And you go like that and you make water. And oh, I can go home and I say, oh, I made a little uh, landscape. No, we really try to find out what the person likes what they want to do, what's close to their heart, so to speak, so that they're not only learning how to make art, but they're making art that expresses something that's important to them emotionally and psychologically and even spiritually. And uh, working with people and seeing them develop and grow, seeing them put a portfolio together, seeing them progress and get get scholarships to go to a college, you know, maybe not a full scholarship, but certainly they're prepared to access the best colleges in the country and really pursue a career uh, that they're interested in. So that's very satisfying to me. What I think is actually valuable about art is the fact that in today's society where everything is technological, Everything is manufactured. Everything is pre-planned and programmed pretty much from the time a person is born, born until they leave, you know? And so there is a part in the life experience that's missing from people's lives because art is a process of being creative. It's not just making pictures. It's about accessing and utilizing your creative mind and being creative is as natural to the human being as is breathing. Because for thousands and thousands of years, human beings have lived on this planet and survived by engaging themselves in creative solutions to life's challenges. Interacting with the environment, interacting with whatever social situation they're in and that required creative solutions, tool making, and all of these processes. And so that natural process of creatively intervening and interacting with your life, it brings up and engages a part of your mind that is very important, that makes us a whole person. And in today's world, there isn't much chance for that because everything is predetermined, pre-planned, pre-programmed, uh, even art things, you know, it's like, well, it's fun and easy. Just buy this and put the pen here and spin the wheel and whoa, you made art. Uh, that's not the real creative experience. And the creative mind is as important as the intellectual mind. In fact, the creative mind is where imagination is. And without imagination, no one moves forward, not in their personal career and not in the world. 
every individual that's ever distinguished themselves in their career in the history of this world are people who made leaps forward in whatever endeavor they were engaging in, whether it's science or medicine or business or anything, by engaging their creative imagination. One of my goals, I would, I guess I could say the big goal in teaching and with Desert Art Academy is uh, that students have an opportunity for self-realization. Because every person, every human being on this planet is a lot better than anyone wants them to think they are. They have a lot more ability and there's a lot more within them as a person, as a human being, than ordinarily is possible for them to express in their day-to-day -day activities. So the ultimate goal is to create an environment where people feel like they're comforted, they feel safe, and they feel like they can drop some inhibitions and allow certain aspects of their creative spirit and being come forth and be expressed in an environment where they don't have to fear ridicule or negative uh, comments. And so to be able to create that kind of environment for me means that people can realize more of who they really are and what their true potential as a human being is. Because that's my core belief, is that human beings are absolutely great. They're greater than you'll ever hear in your day-to-day -day routines. And to bring that out and to make people feel you're a wonderful human being, you're one just great spirit and consciousness, and it, because we're not just here to do the things we do every day. That can't possibly be the true meaning and fulfillment of life. We are here to express our highest potential. And Desert Art Academy is a place where you can discover that potential and then express it. And that's my real goal in this.